Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an online community software called Group.app. Now, in this Group.app review, I want to show you exactly what this tool is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And just to let you know, if you are thinking about getting started, they do have a free forever plan. Plus, if you want to get the best possible deal that's currently going, I have left a link in the description. And if you use that link, you'll also be helping support the channel. Okay, so first of all, what is group.app? Well, it is an online community software, which allows you to create either open communities, public communities, private communities, or even paid communities. So if you are someone that is growing your own community with your audience, this is going to be a great platform for you. Now, one thing that does stand out with group.app versus other platforms out there is you can actually host and sell your own online courses as well. So you don't have to have a third party software. And if you compare this to its nearest competitor, you're going to be saving at least three quarters of the actual cost. So it's affordable, it's extremely functional, and they've just launched, so they've got some great things going on. So what I'm going to do is actually jump behind the screen and show you Group App. Okay, so first of all, let's start here at the Group App website. What I first want to do is run through the different features of Group App. I'll then go through the different pricing plans. Then finally, I will show you a live demo of how it actually works. So on the right here, this is basically what the layout looks inside of Group App. This is actually an admin panel. So this is an admin account. I'll also show you what it looks like as a community member as well. So we'll go through all of that. Just one thing to note, once again, these guys have literally just launch so if you are looking at this video in the future there's probably going to be a lot of additions but just know there's plenty to get started with right now so if we keep coming down on the first page you'll notice the first part which is build your community now inside your community we have here a few different options right so we have what is called a channel and basically if i come to this top one here channels can be based on particular topics of your community right so it might be a general chat you could have say a marketing chat you could have lots of different ones inside of there you could even have like an onboarding as well and inside that people can talk about particular topics and keep that entire chat into one place now if you come down a little bit further we also have what is called a library this is where you can add in your own pdfs cheat sheets workbooks everything like that that you want to include now we also have direct message and group chat so as it sounds you can direct message people and chat with people we also have events calendars. So if you want to have your own events, you can host them inside of here, have RSVPs and everything like that. And then finally, we have schedule posts and emails. So the cool thing with this inside of group app is you can also email all of your different members as well if you're an administrator. And you can do it just by posting a regular post. It's going to actually have an option where you can send it out as an email. So it's really cool. And I'll go through that in just a bit. Now, one thing I love about Group App is they've hosted courses inside of it as well. You can charge for these courses. You can make them free if you want. And it also has tracking progress. So you can see how many people have actually gone through the course as well. And the user experience of this entire platform, right? It looks amazing. So they have the navigation on the right. You can also add in video contents. You can have downloads, audio files, whatever you want inside of here as well. And then people can comment down below. They have also added in the ability to drip schedule your content so if you have a large course and you want it to be say a 30-day challenge you can have it all dripped out so one lesson gets opened each day so this is really cool because it gives you more control and then finally of course you can have the resources and courses paid for inside of group app as well this directly connects to stripe so you can take payments for either courses or membership subscriptions or other products as well so it's nice and easy now, one of the features that isn't quite live just yet is the ability to live stream courses and events. Now, if you are a course creator, you'll know having the ability to actually live stream your course is super profitable because you can pitch the idea before even creating the course. So this feature is coming soon, but I'm excited to see this one in action because you can basically create your course as you go and also pre-sell it. So that's pretty cool. Next feature to point out is they do also have a Zapier integration. So if you are 
by using any third party platforms, things like websites or anything like that, what you can do is actually create custom zaps. So for example, if you had a website, if someone filled out a form, you could actually use Zapier to add them into this community automatically. So it just saves them having to come inside here. Or another option too could be, for example, if someone registers to this platform, you could zap one of your email marketing platforms to add them to one of your lists. So Zapier pretty much opens this platform up to the rest of the world and all the other tools as well. So that's a really powerful feature, definitely something I always look out for. If we come down, you'll also notice coming soon, they also have an Android and iOS app. What you can do right now though, if you wanna use it, it is mobile optimized. You can actually save this browser page to your home screen on your phone and it'll work just like an app. So that's pretty much it in terms of features. There are plenty more as well. What I'll quickly do right now though, is come through the group app pricing. So there is four different options and there is also yearly and monthly. So first of all, we have the free plan, $0 per month. This is free forever. You can have up to 100 members. You can even charge for membership subscriptions as well. And this is all free once again. Now, if we come down a little bit further, it does break down these plans just a little bit more. And the one thing to note is they do add a 5% transaction fee for the free plan. I think this is a pretty reasonable sort of sacrifice as the entire software is completely free for your first 100 members. So they do need to make some sort of kickback. So that's what you will expect to pay. If you wanted to get one of the pro features, one of the premium accounts, you can expect to pay $39 monthly, which will allow you to have online courses, custom domain you'll get the zapier integration plus you'll also get the zero percent transaction fees now you can pay yearly which is actually going to break this down to 29 dollars and honestly this is probably the cheapest platform that offers all of these features for this price so something to keep in mind and then we have the higher plans for example pro which is what i'm currently testing right now this also allows you to have drip scheduling post and email scheduling you can also break your contacts into segments plus you can have 10 000 members and then finally there is the premium for the bigger players in the industry you can have your own custom API integrations plus you get your own account manager you get single sign-in as well as well as setup and onboarding so it's all pretty cool so what I'm going to do right now is actually show you the group app demo I have got an account and I will log in to show you the admin features but I wanted to show you what a filled out community actually looks like so first when you log into the group app community if I come to home this is basically what they call the home page. What you can do is add in your own banner. You can add in a bunch of text and this is exactly what it's gonna look like. You can see different suggested content, different feeds and things like that. And on the left, we have also different tabs, right? We have courses. We've got a library where you can have different types of resources you can provide for all of your community members. We can also see who is a part of this community. There's currently 440 people live inside of the group app community. And we also have our personal profile, which we can edit inside of here. Now there is also notification settings. There's also billing and everything like that inside of it as well. Once again, this is what it looks like from a member point of view. Now, one thing I think most people will be interested in is the courses, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this course and show you how it looks, right? So first of all, when you look at the course, you can see this is the layout. There's the modules, the lessons, everything like that. And if I go continue, it's going to show me what the course layout actually looks like, the learning management platform. So it actually looks really fresh. I'm a big fan of having the navigation on the right. And you can see as you go through here, you can come inside, you can check out the different lessons. If you click complete and continue, it's gonna go ahead and check that. And you can also see uh, how far along in your progression that you've actually seen. So if I go and click refresh, this is now going to update how much I've gone through of this course. So it's pretty cool. Now I have created a demo course just to show you as well. And we'll go through that in a sec. So let me come back to home and come down to actually communities and show you what these look like. So if I come to discussions, this sort of reminds me of a Facebook feed, right? This is all live comments that people are actually using inside of the platform right now. But what you can do is create your own sort of banner, I guess. You can also add about the particular type of community these people are in. And then you can also add a getting started list. 
So this particular community discussion is open. So once you join the platform, you can have um, public ones that are already open. If you were to join another one that's say closed, you will see down here, you're uh, viewing, then it's got the hashtag and your different type of discussion. To join this channel and to leave comments, click on join, and that's gonna allow you to go inside of there, right? And the same thing for all of them. Now, the cool thing about this as well, if you wanted to use one of these different platforms, right, and just to give you an idea, what you can do, for example, this guy's uploaded a video. If you wanted to post anything, you can just either text, you can add in a cover image if you want, you can add in the post details as well. You can upload videos, photos, audio even, which is pretty interesting. Um, and there's plenty you can do inside of it, right? And then people can come along and comment on it. People can either like, comment, or share as well. So there's plenty of info in here. Once again, if you want to check it out yourself, use the link down below and click on the demo link to have a little play. So this is what it can look like if you are a member inside of one of the communities. Now let me show you what it looks like if you are an admin. Now keep in mind, I have just created this. I've been playing around with it for about half an hour to an hour. So that's why it's a little bit more bare and why I went through the actual group app demo. But some things to note inside of here. First of all, you will notice this little button at the top, which says admin panel. And your admin panel, as the name suggests, is where you can control all of your different parts of your community. Plus you can also check check out your analytics, your sales, you can also add in courses, see who's registered and everything else in between. Now once you first load it, it will start off in the people tab. This is going to list all of the different people inside of your community as a whole. And if you click on a person, it's also going to add a few extra details, things like which subscription they're on. It's also going to add in information if they add it as well, which is pretty cool. Next is segments. So if you want to segment your different types of people, you can inside of here. There's also options for moderation in terms of posts and membership requests. So you can go through those if you need. We also have a messaging option as well. This is for if you want to schedule out different emails, posts, or messages to people. And you can do so by either creating email broadcasts or new posts. Now this is perfect if you have a course and you're updating it, or if there's something happening within your community that you want to share with everyone. And we can also do that through regular posting as well. I'll show you that in a little bit. Next, we have what's called the homepage. This is where you can create a cover image and you can add in a title and write a bit of post as well. Now, just to give you an idea of what that looks like, once again, it's going to be this announcement page here, which is going to give you all this type of info. So that can be done inside a homepage. Next is channels. This is where you can actually create your different types of channels and you can do the different types of options for each channel. So you can see this open community is an open type plan, whereas the VIP community is a paid plan. And I've gone ahead and created a custom subscription for this. If I come to subscriptions, you will see it here, VIP members, $27 per month. So if anyone wanted to be a part of that particular channel, they would have to go ahead and pay $27 per month, which is connected to Stripe, and then they can get access. So that's pretty cool. Now there is also the courses option. I have created just a dummy course here called Tube Affiliates, which is actually a real course, which I'm about to launch relatively soon. And I've just done a few modules inside of here to show you what it looks like. So I'll go through that in just a second. In fact, I'll go through it now just to show you what it looks like. So if I come to courses, you can see here we have a course called Tube Affiliates. It's currently on sale for 497. If you click on it, it's going to show you what the course is all about. And I've only just added in a few dummy videos. But if I clicked on continue, once again, this is going to show you now what a video lesson looks like. So you can see this is actually one of the live videos, but you can go through all of the courses as well. And everything is there. So it's nice and easy and you can upload directly to the group app website. You don't have to have your own video hosting or anything like that. So coming back to the admin panel, let's keep coming down the list. So next we have here library. This is where you can add in different resources you want to provide for your community. So you just click on add new, you choose what kind of file you want to add, and then it's going to be listed. We also have here events. If you want to create future events where you can collect RSVPs and things like that. We have the subscriptions, which we quickly went through. We've got here onboarding. So if you want to add in any particular type of onboarding for people coming in, you can add things like videos. Um, you can choose different plans, FAQs, everything like that. You just need to add them in. We also have here analytics. This is going to show you your community as a whole. Teammates is self-explanatory. You can add in teams. 
We also have a settings tab. This is going to be your main settings tab where you can change the name of your community, your description about it. You can add in your logo, your favicon, you can add in a community image. You can also disable things like powered by group app and choose whether it's an open community or private. So if someone goes straight to the website, will it let them in or not? We also have different branding options as well. And if you want to customize your email templates, you can do so in here too, as well as control different notifications. Now coming down to integrations, this is where you will connect to Stripe if you want to take payment. There is also other third party integrations too to things like Vimeo, Wistia, as well as some email marketing platforms. Now if you are thinking about using Zapier, you can actually come to the demo group app website and you can click in Zapier and it's going to show here how to set up group app Zapier integration. This is a beta integration so it's actually at version 1.2.1 at the time of sending it. It's something you have to add into your account. I, don't, I think they're still working on it which is cool because it's in progress but the good thing about it is it's got everything you need. I've actually already played with it quite a lot and it works really well. So that is integrations and then we have custom domains. I've just added this one here. So waiting for that to tick over and then finally billing details and help. So that is pretty much group app. If I show you what it looks like currently at a closed community, right? So that's what my one is. This is what it looks like, right? You can't really do anything inside of here. And once you log in, you can go to courses as I made my courses public. This is what it looks like. Let me show you how it actually rolls out because a few people want to see the process. So you can see the course, everything about it. Click on the buy and it's going to take you to the details. So that's pretty much group app guys. Uh, there's not really too much else to it. What I'm gonna do right now is actually jump behind the screen. I wanna talk about use cases and why this is such a powerful asset to have as a business owner. Okay, so that is group.app. Now, as you can see, it is a very easy platform to use. And once again, it's currently just launched. So there are going to be a lot more features in the future. Now, the one thing I do love about this platform is it is helping people stay focused when they are trying to achieve something. Now, for me, I've always referred to Facebook groups as the community platform. But I've found myself even not using that platform much anymore because there's so many things taking away your focus, i.e. ads, or it could be notifications to different parts of Facebook, or it could even be Messenger. And honestly, it's all a bit too much. I've been moving away from Facebook as much as possible. And that's where something like group app can actually come in and help you stay focused on the goal at hand. So overall, I love group.app. I think it's going to be a very powerful uh, type of platform that people are going to use a lot more and once again if you want to check it out you can get started for free i've left a link in the description so go ahead and have a little play yourself but anyway that's it guys that is group.app i hope you enjoyed this review if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet hit subscribe and if you have any questions let me know down below happy to help you out with that that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one